Welcome to PyLearning. In today's video, we are going to talk about assignment operations in object-oriented programming. Now, we already talked about arithmetic operations and comparison operations. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check out the description below. There will be a link to those videos and you can go through those videos and understand the concept. In today's video, we'll learn about assignment operations. So what is assignment operations? Just to give you a small, you know, walk down the memory lane. If x equal to 3 and then y equal to 2. And if you want to do print or let's just do x plus equal to y and we print x. Then basically we are assigning. Uh, yes, then basically we are assigning the addition of x and y value to x, right? So if I run this, you will see that x is equal to 5 now. So this is the basics of assignment operation. I hope you all know this. Now, let's see how we can perform these assignment operations in object-oriented programming. All right. So now, if I want to do addition assignment, so I can say a equal to number 3, and then I can say b equal to number 2. All right. I'm creating two instances here. So let's say a plus b. Wait. Now, I see that PyCharm is throwing me an error here. Basically, before running it, this is the advantage of using PyCharm or any code editor like that. And it says type error, unsupported operand, operand types for plus. It's because, uh, think about it, why it's happening. When I do A plus B, it is looking for an add magic method, right? Like underscore, underscore, add, underscore, underscore. So basically, in my class, I haven't defined the add. So if I define here, let's say define underscore underscore add and return self dot x plus other dot x, you know, now if I run this, it should be fine. So let's print a and b. All right. So now if I run this, you can see that it, it prints a plus b. Uh, we have a and b and we can also do a plus b here, you know. So let's run this. Yeah, it's five, right? But we are not talking about arithmetic operations. We are talking about assignment operations. So here, instead of doing a plus b, I'm going to do a plus equal to b. And then let's print out a comma b. So now if I run this, yeah, a is five, b is two, and it is printing addition assignment because when we do a plus equal to b, it is automatically finding the magic method that is going to perform this assignment operation and then it is printing out whatever is inside and then performing that operation. So similarly, if I want to do a minus equal to b here and I run this code, so it is going to print out 1 and 2. So a is 3, b is 2, 3 minus equal to 2. So a becomes 1 and then it is automatically finding the i sub magic method here and then operating on it, right? So I would recommend you to go through all these uh, dunder methods or magic methods and see how you can use them in your object oriented programming. One more thing here. I think it is uh, important to uh, explain this is the use of this wrapper, right? Now what happens if I comment this wrapper magic method out? Now I have already explained the differences between string and wrapper magic methods in object oriented programming. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check it out. It's a very useful video and it will really help you in understanding the importance of string and wrapper. Now, if I run this, let's run this. You see now A prints out okay, but B doesn't print out in a readable manner. We don't see the value of B. We see some object instance that we cannot understand anything about, right? So that is why you need magic methods like wrapper or string inside your object oriented programming to make your instances more readable, all right? So let's bring it back and run this again. And now we have one and two. So do check out the string versus wrapper video. I think it will be really useful. And I hope you like this short video about assignment operations in object oriented programming and hope you use them in your code. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next video.